so this is my setup with my Sony Xperia Mini Pro. Phone's a little bit old hat, but actually does the job really well. Got the uh, six-axis controller, pretty much specifically for this. I don't have a PS3, so um, I just yeah, rubber bands and bulldog clips. <laughs> Do a good job of it. Uh, link to how to do that in the description. It's a pretty good life hack. So once the 6-axis controller is working, granted your phone is rooted slash jailbroken, did push the magic button on your PlayStation, flash, 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 on. Now it's connected. Change the profile, what you want, and I've got a whole bunch. 64 Mega Drive. Junior. And that one will be for... This is one of the big reasons that this controller PlayStation 1. This is Crash 2. All uh, PS1 games basically work perfectly that I've tried, which is awesome. Um, no issues. Some don't play sound properly, but that depends on certain things. I don't know. The controller works perfectly. You can see the on screen. I left the on screen touches, touch stuff on there, because that's what you map to the 6-axis controller and the 6-axis controller app. So if I switch this to analog mode, I can't actually push any of these buttons because, yeah, it's copying what's there. So now I can, yay! Invincible! Invincible! Vanilla ah. is awesome! Yeah, it's so cool! Thing about uh, FPS over PC or whatever it is, the popular one. I paid for both PlayStation ones just to really see on um, the FPSC just works a little bit better. Um, but it might be different on your phone. I don't know. Try them out. Ah, best racing game ever! Yeah, Roll Gate Stage 2! <laughs> I'm out of control. Oh, Final Fantasy 7 runs perfectly! It's quite fun to play in this. I cheat just so I can, you know, not have to grind and go through the story. Eris! What you doing, girl? Yeah, it runs perfectly. FMVs are good to. Whoa, what are you doing? Game Shark can bring you back. Sort of. I think. What a Phoenix Downer. Okay, so. <laughs> this is uh, Super N64. It's a free version of it, but you can pay, which I recommend. They did a good job on this one. It's a. Like, Mupin is the. kind of the big daddy that most of them copy. Some of them suck, some of them are okay. Like, this one's actually better than I found in Movement on my, um, well, um, on mine. So, but, yeah, again, varies from phone to phone. Come on, you little yellow jerk! Have a go. Oh, that's it, man. Take your star and leave me be. Oh, it's not the star I want. Hey, man, we had a deal! We had a deal! Some games worked good, some games didn't. Like, that was the thing with this one. A lot more variables with the 64 for some reason. I thought it'd be a lot more consistent, but the PS1 was really consistent. But, Mario works fantastic, of course. Diddy Kong Racing, this was a big one for me, because it's great. I loved it as a kid. Um, I'm so much better at it now. Yeah. It does some graphical issues. I have to change the plugin. Bryce, I think. Not the default. But again, just try the um, main. Eh. Golden Knight works okay, not perfect. If you're outside, definitely not. Um, <laughs> but that's, again, that's just my phone. Actually, it's very playable. Just the sound is a bit like stuttery, and I was messing around with that age for just trying to get that good. Oops, sorry. Oh, wait, that guy's looking at his watch. Don't shoot him. He's busy. A Mario Kart 64 works great. No issues there, apart from the fact that the AI suck. I would have gotten like a PSP emulator if my phone was better. It sort of works, but definitely not playable. If I had a better phone, I'd totally be all over that bad boy. This is my parkway. This is my bridge. <laughs> the Game Boy Advance one. This is GBAMU, the free one. Don't see the point in paying for it unless you think it's really awesome. In which case, do. Runs perfectly on this. Runs great with the joystick keys. 
Sonic Advance 2 is awesome. Super Nintendo. Obviously, SNES 9X seems to work great, and it is free. Crap. Yeah, no problems with this. Oh, easy to map with the controller again. Although, just as fun to play on the slide-out keyboard on the Xperia Mini Pro. Just, just as good for simple games. This game stuck. No, just kidding. It's awesome. Okay, this is Mega Drive or Genesis MD... MU is really good. I actually paid for this one because it's actually, like, the best. And I don't mind paying for something that's going to be good. Oh, I hate this one. But I actually have to map the on-screen um, input with the... Yeah, to map the... change the 6-axis uh, profile settings. But it's okay. Again, just as good with the slide-up keyboard, which is hidden. I'm currently at the spit because I'm <laughs> wondering if there's a way I can not free the ghosts. <laughs> Dang it, I did it again! Oh, this level sucks. Thought I'd quickly show this, the Neo Geo Pocket emulator. NGP.MU, I believe? And this was made in like 99. Anyway, highly recommend it. Pretty cool, works well with the QWERTY keyboard. This keyboard's great for like, any game that's not like a 3D game, basically. Like, I could even play like, Klonoa on PS1 easily with this keyboard, so. Just nice to be able to use the controller. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, just shoot me a comment. I'll try and respond. Uh, most things should be in the description, but if not, yeah, whatever. Alright, see ya. Say goodbye, Snowball. Meow.